was built in London in Bow in uh, the well-renowned Iron Thames Iron Works on Bow Creek. She won't float again because she's just too tender, too fragile. So we'll raise her off this slipway next Monday, uh, crane her onto the new purpose-built pontoon. It's obviously an operation that has some, some risk attached to it. This has actually been a first of, it, first of its kind for our company. So quite an interesting project to work on, you know. And it's been a good experience. She actually has to be up in the air by 10 a.m. Okay, Michael, stop pinching up. Keep that radio there, buddy. Perfect, Jim, don't we? Well, just do it down, just to what you can do with there, Michael. Looks like your uh, rams are fully retracted there, Brian. Eh? So you can just. There's still well over a foot of travel left on the pistons. And then uh, free lift was uh, 305. Well, look at it, 120 years old. <laughs> you know wasn't designed to be lifted like this and she's sitting there pretty. It's uh, quite amazing really. Okay, Brian, come up again, buddy. Come up again, buddy. Up you go. It's perfect, you know, just the way, just the way we wanted it to land. Uh, for the past two and a half years, um, we've been working providing legal support and um, guidance as best we can to the trust and the companies. I mean, it's been a fantastic journey for everyone, I think. But at the same time, Crossrail and the government could see that there's a real public interest in saving this really historic vessel for the nation. David and Nish have been the central pushing force for how many years? Without them, um, this pontoon, this vessel wouldn't be here today. Uh, we've been working with them for uh, about two years now. They, they sort of are a, a good team. I mean, this is part of uh, our, our, our British maritime heritage. So it's fantastic to be involved in the project. So we can get Robin back to London as well. And what we've ended up doing is coming up with this concept, which hasn't been done before, which could actually be a model for future historic ship restoration because it keeps them afloat. We can keep them maintained. One of the really big problems with, with the smaller historic ships is they don't have a lot of capacity space for operations, for restoration, for visitors.